Tetanus, definition specific anaerobic infection leading to nervous irritability and tetanic muscular contractions. Etiology, cost of organism, Clostridia tetany by its neurotoxin, gram positive anaerobic bacillus with terminal spore, drumstick appearance, which is characteristic, site, the organism in the intestine of horses, the spores in mannered soil and street dirt, mode of transmission, the cost of organism enters in hypoxic wounds, contaminated with soil or feces, especially a puncture wound, or one containing devitalized tissue, foreign body, or associated pyogenic organisms, umbilical stump, contaminated dressings or powders, leading to tetanus neonatorum, pathology, the bacillus remain at site of inoculation, but its exotoxin reaches the CNS along the bloodstream, the motor nerves or both. Once the toxin reaches the CNS, it's fixed by the motor cells and it cannot be detected in the blood or CSF. Tetanus antitoxin can neutralize the toxin only before it gets fixed to the nervous tissue. The toxin increases the excitability of motor cells of medulla and spinal cord, so the slightest stimuli produce violent spasms. Death results from exhaustion, hyperparexia, heart failure, asphyxia, or pneumonia. Clinical picture incubation period varies from 24 hours to 15 days. Tonic stage, the first symptoms, pain, tingling in the area of injury, limitation of movements of the jaw, locked jaw, dressmas, and we have spasm of the facial muscles, rises sardonicus, followed by neck stiffness, difficulty in swelling, laryngospasm, hesitancy in micturition due to sphincter spasm, chronic stage incidence, in more severe cases, reflex paroxysms of violent muscular contractions become superimposed on the above mentioned tonic rigidity initiated by any form of stimulation such as bright light. During these spasms, the body may be arched or be thotinous, spasms of the intercostal muscles and diaphragm leading to apnea. The temperature is normal or slightly elevated, profuse sweating, marked tachycardia, grave sign. Investigation polymorphinucleal leukocytosis. Incidence of tetanus decreases due to compulsory immunization of childhood differential diagnosis. We have trismus due to local causes as impacted wisdom tooth or temp uh, temporomandibular arthritis, meningitis. The neck muscles are affected first and CSF, turbid and contains leukocytes and organisms. Stry uh, strychnine poisoning spasm starts in extremities and are entirely clonic with complete relaxation during intervals. Tetany, hands and feet are mainly affected. Trivestic sign is positive and serum calcium is decreased. Rabies, history of dog bite and spasms occur on seeing and drinking water. The muscles of deglutition and respiration are mainly affected. Prevention, routine childhood active immunization with tetanus toxoid, con continuing with booster injections every 7 to 10 years. Previously immunized individuals by more than or equal to 3 doses. The last within 10 years need only booster dose 0.5 ml intramuscularly. Not previously immunized individuals should receive clean minor wounds. Tetanus is unlikely and wounds with high risk tetanus risk. For clean minor wounds, intramuscular 0.5 ml of tetanus toxoid is given as initial dose. Two further injections are given at 4 week intervals. Wounds with high tetanus risk, intramuscular injection of tetanus toxoid 0.5 ml as the initial dose plus 250 units of TIG in different syringe or different site, antibiotics should be placed then plan to complete toxoid series. Treatment Intensive treatment should be started soon as respiratory paralysis may advance rapidly. Neutralize the toxin with tetanus immunoglobulin dose, uh, dose and root 3000 to 6000 units intramuscular site proximal to the wound. Repeated doses may be needed since the half-life of the immunoglobulin is about 3 weeks and established tetanus often lasts longer. Wound debridement under anesthesia if there is uh, respiratory problems in the tracheal tube and tracheostomy since mechanical ventilation must be continued for weeks. Uh, Equus penicillin G 10 to 40 million units per day by intermittent IV bolus injection. Kill clostridium and prevent further toxin release. Nursing isolated the patient in dark quiet room and protect uh, from sudden stimuli, unnecessary movements, and excitement. Maintain nutrition by nasogastric tube. Barbiturates are used cautiously because uh, they lead to cardiorespiratory failure. Diazepam may reduce the dosage of barbiturates needed to control spasms. Muscle relaxants with mechanical ventilation is better alternative to large doses of barbiturates. Prognosis, mortality rate 30 to 60% in cases with respiratory insufficiency. 
This rate is inversely proportional to the length of incubation period and directly proportional to the severity of symptoms. One attack of tetanus doesn't confer a lifelong immunity. Patients who recover need to have active immunization. Gas gangrene, Clostridia myositis, definition, acute spreading gangrene associated with gas formation and profound toxemia, etiology, causative organism, and predisposing factor. Causative organism, anaerobic, spore-bearing, bacillus, Clostridium, perfringens, belchi, and other Clostridia species. Predisposing factors, closely associated with grossly contaminated war injuries, lacerated wounds involving bulky muscles as in gluteus and sci, presence of foreign bodies or devitalized tissues, ischemia of the muscles due to injury of the main vessels, tight bandages or casts or sutures under tension, infection by aerobes, medium suitable for anaerobic clostridium, may follow above knee amputation, especially in elderly who may suffer from fecal incontinence, infection of the stump. Diagnosis depends mainly on clinical appearance of the wound and presence of large gram positive rods, stained smears of exudate or tissue, differential diagnosis, necrotizing fasciitis, surgical emphysema, cause, presence of gas under skin, not associated with signs of toxemia or peripheral circulatory failure, and the wound looks healthy. Pathology Clostridia proliferate, produce toxins, diffuse into surrounding tissue, destroying local microcirculation. Alpha toxin Necrotizing lithothenase facilitates its diffusion. Other toxins contrib contribute as collagenase, hyaluronidase, leukocidin protease, lipase, and hemolysin. Clostridia toxins induce muscle necrosis, gas production, hemolysis, leading to mild jaundice, degenerative changes in levers, in liver, kidneys, and adrenals. Clinical picture incubation period it differs from few hours to few days. In general, the patient is pale, anxious, apprehensive. The temperature may be raised, but tachycardia is a constant sign. Oliguria, the hands are cold and clammy, tinge of jaundice, severe cases, we have shock, local, pain and numbness in the affected area, the wound is swollen and there may be crepitus with gas bubbles, sanguinous discharge of characteristic odor may exude, affected muscles show brick red, then greenish and finally black discoloration, they don't contract on pinching and don't bleed if cut, the overlying skin may show greenish or black discoloration and there may be multiple blebs full of foul-smelling dark fluid. Prevention All Clostridia infections are preventable. Wound debridement under anesthesia. For wounds occurring outdoors and contaminated with soil, foreign bodies, feces, or dirt, or associated with extensive muscular injury, clean the wound and leave it open. Antibiotics, especially penicillin, valuable but they are not substitute for adequate surgical debridement. Treatment, we have antibiotics, wound management, and hyperbaric oxygenation, which may be recommended. Antibiotics, penicillin, 20 to 40 million units per day, given IV. In patients allergic to penicillin, clindamycin, or metronidazole. In mixed infections, multiple antibiotic combinations. Wound management, the most important step. Wound debridement under general anesthesia. Tight fascia compartments are decompressed. The deep fascia and skin are left open. Indications of amputation, diffuse myositis with complete loss of blood supply, when adequate deprivement leave a useless limb. Prognosis, mortality rate is about 20%. Limb salvage or saving with clostridial myositis is not favorable. The mind necrosis render it essential in many cases to perform life-saving amputation. Surgical aspects of tuberculosis, etiology, cost of organism, gram-positive acid fast rose, bacilli, we have two types of tuber tuberculosis bacillus, human and bovine. Human, the commonest cause of TB in man, bovine carried in infected milk, was a common cause of non-pulmonary TB in old days. Mode of infection, inhalation, the commonest. Bidirect aspiration of droplets from infected patients suffering from open pulmonary TB. Ingestion, organisms are swallowed in milk from infected cows. Pathology, the characteristic lesion of TB is a tubercle. Microscopic picture, the tubercle consists of bacilli surrounded by epithelioid cells, occupies the central part, they are oval, emphasize arranged in circular zone, near the periphery, Langhans cells, giant cells, arranged in horseshoe manner, fate of the tubercle, caseation, a form of coagulative necrosis affecting the epithelioid cells near the center of the tubercle, fibrosis when the host's resistance is high, it surrounds the tubercle by fibrous tissue leading to calcification, Hypertrophic tuberculosis over growth of granulation tissue with scanty giant cells and no caseation. The commonest example is ileocecal tuberculosis. 
TB used to be one of the world's greatest killers, although its incidence was decreased in the de undeveloped world by combination of vaccination and potent antibiotics, the disease is still common in poor, underdeveloped countries. In developed countries, the recent increased incidence of AIDS increases, uh, increases the incidence of TB among those affected. Spread direct lymphatic through natural passages and hematogenous, hematogenous to distant fossae or miliary tuberculosis, through natural passages as the urinary tract, air passages and bowel, lymphatic to regional lymph nodes, then to other lymph node groups or tissues as tabis mesenterica from intestinal tuberculosis and direct to adjacent structures. Clinical picture type of the patient, usually children and young adults, commoner among poorer classes, general. Tuberculous toxemia, loss of appetite, loss of weight, night fever, night sweats, and tachycardia. Local, depends on the affected site. Cold abscess, soft fluctuating mass, which lacks signs of acute inflammation unless there's secondary pyogenic infection. Tuberculous ulcer, regular outline, undermined cyanotic edge, deficient pale granulation tissue in the floor. Tuberculous sinus, usually follows rupture of a deep abscess and leaves unhealthy scars. Investigations, lab, radiological and interventional, interventional biopsy for histopathological examination, radiological x-ray of the lungs, bones, and kidneys, characteristic changes, lab, we have ESR elevated but not specific, tuberculin scan test, negative result, excluding TB but positive result is of little significance, PCR accurate and fast test, detects even the smallest amount of the specific DNA of the organism in tissue samples or discharge, bacteriological examination of exudates, discharges, and body fluids for tubercle bacilli includes staining techniques such as Dill Nelson, culture on Levenstein Jensen medium. Aspiration tuberculous pus, caseous material, although called cold abscess, it's actually not cold and not an abscess. It's slightly warm and containing caseous material. Treatment, general, local, local depending on the affected site, repeated aspiration for cold abscess, general chemotherapy and improving general health. Improving general health by tonics, vitamins, good diet and open air. Chemotherapy recommended combination therapy of at least two drugs. The commonly used drugs INH, rifampicin, pyridinamide, isambutamol, streptomycin is less commonly used due to its toxicity, duration extending for at least nine months. Then we have candidiasis and fungal infections, causative organism, candida albicans, and various other candida species. Site overgrowth of candida occurs at mucocutaneous surfaces and intestinal tract. Predisposing factors, immunosuppressed, diabetic, hospitalized, surgical patients, patients receiving broad-spectrum antibiotics for long duration, symptoms, oral lesions, red spots on mucous membrane, which soon be covered with whitish membrane, dysphagia, candidiasis of esophagus, diarrhea and other digestive disturbance and we have treatment or non-absorbable antifungal agents such as insistine for oral candidiasis, systemic antifungal therapy for severe infections such as amphotericin B, 5-fluorocytosine and fluconazole. Antibiotics in surgical infections Choice of suitable antibiotic depends on the patient, history of allergy to antibiotics, age, renal and hepatic function, ability to tolerate oral drugs, Host resistance if female, pregnant, or lactating. The causative organism. The following guidelines are helpful in prescribing an antibiotic. Initial diagnosis is essential before starting antibiotic samples as urine, sp uh, sputum, or pus obtained for culture and sensitivity before starting antibiotic. The initially chosen antibiotic should be of broad spectrum. Toxic agents or extremely costly agents are better avoided if an equally effective substitute exists. The length of antibiotic course depends on pathology, clinical, and lab assessment. Avoid prolonged antibiotic courses. The change of antibiotic depends on culture and sensitivity tests in association with clinical response. If there is satisfactory clinical response, don't change the antibiotics just for the sake of culture and sensitivity results. Commonly used antibiotics, beta-lactam antibiotics, aminoglycosides, quinolones, glycopeptides, trimethoprine sulfamethoxazole, and macrolides. Macrolides spectrum against gram-positive bacteria and usually used in patients allergic to B-lactam agents, common agents, erythromycin, abethromycin, and clarithromycin. Trimisoprime sulfamisoxazole or septrin spectrum against variety of gram-negative uh, aerobic bacteria and some unusual infections observed in the immunocompromised patients such as those caused by pneumocystitis carnii and nocardia asteroids. 
Glycopeptides, spectrum gram positive bacteria, even MRSA and anaerobes, mechanism it interfere with bacterial cell wall senses. Vancomycin is a drug of choice for treatment of antibiotic induced colitis, which is caused by, by overgrowth of Clostridia difficile. Common agents vancomycin, linezolid, rifampicin, clindamycin, and metronidazole. Kinolones, spectrum against gram negative aerobic bacteria. Available agents norfloxacin, ciprofloxacin, and levofloxacin. They are most commonly used to treat UTIs. Aminoglycosides spectrum effective against gram-negative aerobic organisms with little activity against gram-positive or anaerobic bacteria mechanism interfere with bacterial protein fences. Common agents gentamicin, tobramycin, and amikacin. Then we have the B-lactam antibiotics mechanism. They act on cell wall of both gram-positive and negative bacteria, leading to inhibition of cell wall senses and cell lysis. We have penicillins, cephalosporins, and Carbapenems. Carbapenems, the spectrum is wide for gram positive, most gram negative aerobes, including Pseudomonas and anaerobes, including Emipenem, Miropenem, and Azitrinam. Uh, and then we have the Cephalosporins, first generation cefa uh, Cephazolin and Cephalexin, excellent against gram positive bacteria as Staph aureus. Second generation as Cephoxetine and Cephuroxin. Slightly narrower gram-positive bacteria spectrum, but much better against gram-negative aerobic activity. Some agents exert activity against anaerobes, such as Cevoxetine. Third generation cephalosporins, excellent anti-gram-negative aerobic agents, but their gram-positive activity is variable. This group includes ceftriaxone, ceftazidine, and cefotaxin. Staphylococcal strains that are resistant to mesicillin are resistant to first-generation cephalosporins. Penicillins, penicillin G, the prototype, and effective against gram-positive bacteria such as streptococci and spirochetes. Semi-synthetic penicillins such as mesicillin, wider activity against streptococcus and staphylococcus species. Ampicillin, lacks activity against some staphylococci but active against enterococci and some gram-negative bacteria. Combining amoxicillin with lactamase inhibitor such as clavulinate extend the spectrum of activity against gram-positive, gram-negative aerobic bacteria and some anaerobic organisms. And then we have complications of antibiotics, hypersensitivity reactions, vitamin B deficiency, superinfection, and specific toxicities. Hypersensitivity reaction, common with penicillin and streptomycin, manifestations are tocaria, fever, angioneuritic edema, asthma, and rarely fatal anaphylactic reactions. Vitamin B deficiency, due to alteration of bowel flora with prolonged use of antibiotics, superinfections, etiology, resistant strains as Proteus, Pseudomonas, or Candida, sight, mouth, bowel, urinary tract, or lung, very difficult to control, specific toxicities such as nephrotoxic and autotoxic drugs, which are noted with aminoglycosides. Infection control, we have standard precautions and decontamination. Standard precautions, definition, set of infection control practices which are used to prevent transmission of diseases which can be acquired by contact with blood, body fluids and non-intact skin and mucous membranes usage when providing care to all individuals whether or not they appear infectious or asymptomatic. Hand hygiene, PPE, personal protective equipment, needles, stick and sharp injury protection, cleaning and disinfection, safe injection practices and extra precautions. Hand hygiene is the most effective factor. It decreases hospital-acquired infections, include both washing with soup and water, use of alcohol gel to decontaminate hands, indication before and after contact with the patient, before eating, after coughing or sneezing into a tissue, after using the restroom, immediately after touching blood, body fluids, mucous membrane or contaminated items, even when gloves are worn during contact. PPE or personal protective equipment include gloves, worn when touching blood, body fluids, non-intact skin, mucous membrane, and contaminated items, surgical mask, gown, and goggles. If there is a chance that a splash or spray of blood of, or body fluids may occur, needles take and sharp injury protection, safe handling of needles and other sharp devices, prevent healthcare worker exposure to blood-borne pathogens, used needles should be discarded immediately after use and not recapped or removed from the syringe, after any used needles scalpel blades or other contaminated sharps should be placed in a leak-proof, puncture-resistant sharps container. 
Cleaning and disinfection. Cleaning must occur before disinfection as most disinfectants are not effective in the presence of dirt and organic matter. Safe injection practices. Outbreaks of hepatitis B and hepatitis C infections prompted the safe injection practices. All hair care personnel who give injections should use new needle and syringe every time a medication vial or IV bag is accessed. Use new needle and syringe with each injection of a patient using medication vials for one patient only whenever possible. Extra precautions, indications, when operating on patients with viral hepatitis or HIV, clear documentation in the patient's rec uh, records, eye protection, wear double gloves, use disposable waterproof gowns, wear full face high quality mask, the scrub nurse hands and receives sharps as the scalpel and needles to and from the surgeons indirectly in a kidney basin. Decontamination. Definition. The process of removing microbial contaminants, methods, cleaning and disinfection, and finally sterilization. Cleaning effect removes visible contamination importance prerequisite for effective disinfection or sterilization. Disinfection effect decreases the number of viable microorganisms to acceptable levels. Antiseptics. Topical disinfectants that can be safely applied to epithelial tissues. Disinfection can be achieved by moist heat as boiling water. Chemical disinfection is used when the use of heat is not appropriate. We have uh, examples for the antiseptics. Chlorhexidine, alcoholic 0.5% and aqueous 4% uses skin preparation. Povidine, iodine, alcoholic 10% and aqueous 7.5% uses skin preparation. Fast-acting hand wash and open wounds, effective against gram-positive and gram-negative organisms. Alcohol, 70% acyl alcohol for skin preparation. And hexachlorophene, aqueous bisphenol uses skin preparation hand washing effective against gram positive organisms we have something called glut glutaraldehyde or sedex is a common example of chemical disinfection immersion of in scopes or laparoscopes to control bacteria hcv and hiv the equipment should then be washed with sterile saline prior to its use as the agent is toxic sterilization effect Complete destruction of all viable microorganisms, including spores, viruses, and mycobacteria. The standard method, steam under pressure, autoclaving, which attains 134 degrees Celsius at two atmospheres. The required time for adequate sterilization is 20 to 30 minutes. Other methods, isylene oxide gas for wrapped and unwrapped heat-sensitive equipment, glutaraldehyde at longer immersion times, gamma rays for sterilization of casters, syringes, or delicate equipment on industrial basis. Gas plasma for delicate catheters and endovascular wires at hospital. And this concludes our part for the infections.